Hey folks, it's Eric with Dark Noise Transport again. I am still brand new to the world of RV, RV transport. Uh, one of the big things about with RV transport is where do you sleep at night? There's a lot of motels around some of the truck stops and small areas where you can stop, but even the cheapest of those can be $50, $60 a night. Um, it adds up if you're doing a seven day trip. So what a lot of transporters do is they sleep in, the, in their trucks. And there's a lot of ways you can do that. You can leave your back seat in the truck, put some tubs in the floor wells, and put an air mattress over it. I've never been a fan of air mattresses. They're either too hard, too soft, they make a lot of noise, and they leak for me. Um, some folks take large pieces of foam and fold it over, make a bed out of that. Um, I'm getting older. I like being comfortable. So I followed some advice that I found out there and went with an 8-inch memory foam twin size mattress from Walmart and in order to do that you have to take the back seat out but I still want to be able to get access to my storage here in the fl in the floor well so for first step is you have to take your back seat out and there are bolts down here in the bottom take all these out on the sides and then back up top is a mount for the seat belt assembly take all that out the seat on my 2020 Ram came out all as one piece only probably took about 15 or 20 minutes now you've got a blank canvas to work with um, so went the two by four and one by four, one by four route and I'm gonna build a little platform but I still wanted to be able to have some storage room underneath it for clothes uh, my printer those sort of things and I wanted to try to be about even with the center console so it makes it easier to move from the front seat to the back seat Luckily, I already had two by fours and one by fours here in the garage. It was one of those pieces that I'm just going to save it. Maybe I'll use it later someday. Well, Sunday finally came. So had some two by fours, some one by fours, and, and instantly you have a bed frame. So this actually worked out fairly, fairly well. It's just two by four frame. I made a cutout here because I have an electrical outlet right there. I plug an extension cord into that and run it off to the side for my printer. Um, I have access to some USB ports there, but the mattress actually sits up right up tight against it, so I'm gonna build out a little frame for that. But takes up the bed of the truck. It's actually fairly sturdy and pretty lightweight. I still have access to under seat storage and my clothes, clothes bags all go in there. On the other side, I've got printer triangles. Uh, some Once you get the frame built, Go to Walmart, I believe it was $169 for the eight inch memory foam mattress, twin size. The width on it is perfect. Uh, you do have to cut off about, I believe 15 or 16 inches off of the length in order to make it fit with the doors. Easiest way to do that, and don't tell wonderful wife, is to use the electric kitchen knife. You bring that down into the basement, cuts right through it. You wash everything off, put it back away, and she's none the wiser. So, worked much better than using the utility knife I was trying. Sleeps better than a lot of motel rooms that I've been in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get it made up and show you the finished product. And here's the finished product. 8-inch memory foam. We're trying some bamboo sheets. They're supposed to be cooler. I like being cool in the summer. See, I've got a little USB fan off my headrest there. I run that off of a little jump box overnight since my USB ports don't stay active all night long and then gets me pretty much everything I need. I'm fairly level with my center console to get from front to back easy. I've got storage. This is normally on the other side but I've got my printer. With DOT required triangles and then on each one I've got room under here and I can put food, drinks. Um, I keep a pair of shoes for walking around the parking lots of truck stops at night trying to get some miles in trying to stay somewhat healthy if I can we'll see how it goes but for basically $170 for the mattress maybe $20 for the sheets and probably $2,000 for the lumber nowadays just because everything's expensive um, you can have a bed in the back of your truck it's comfortable it's a heck of a lot cheaper than staying in motels every night and Every dollar you can save out on the road is a dollar that goes into your bank account at the end of the trip. 
So, so far, haven't slept in any hotels or motels. There may come a time if I'm out for a few weeks and just ready for a change, but it's actually really comfortable. Um, I'm working, I have a heating solution for the winter, so I don't have to idle the truck because that uses about a quarter tank of gas overnight and that gets expensive. I've got a way to heat in the winter and I'm working on a way to stay cool in the summer and we'll see how that goes. But there it is, you too can save money.